Holly and Phil from this morning skipped the, the queue. queue. Oh my god. See, this is when I realised that like I just watched too much TV. I like shed a tear because she I was like, that is... was Oh my god, I've got goosebumps. Loafers, yes or no? Yeah, I've yeah. I've just yeah. flown back from like spitting, spitting on Chris. Chris Prime. As we go into autumn, yeah. what's your style gonna be? Okay. We're back in the car. I'm really just loving filming videos in my car at the moment. I've got this like stand, you know, I got it back up and running. It was down for a while because when it got really hot, it like fell off my car. Like the heat made the suction just not work. So I didn't really film many like videos in the car. But I think this is my second video in a row in the car. But I love this video. I've done one of these before and you guys really, really loved it. And I think it's so much fun like hearing other people's takes on things and sounding off in the comment section about just kind of like hot topics at the moment, popular, I don't know, things that are being talked about. That's what a hot topic is, right? I feel like that's what it is. Just hearing other people's thoughts and opinions on things. I'm not going to be alone. Obviously the title, you guys know who's joining me. But before I pick her up and before we get this video going, um, I went through all of your hot topic suggestions that you guys sent in that I'm going to be talking to Mads about. Just like, yeah, discussing between us over a coffee. See, I'm always in the car and I'm always having a coffee. Like, maybe I need to make this a series. Maybe, I, maybe that's what the podcast needs to be, guys. It's like a carpool chat, carpool conversation. I think I've just got onto something there. But anyway, before we jump into this video, as you guys know, the iPhone 14 came out beginning of September, I think. Or it was the beginning of September that they kind of announced that it was coming. But either way, Case Defy are on it you guys know they're literally the only place that i get my phone cases from and with the iphone 14 coming out and just case to fight as a brand in general they are constantly thinking about what makes a great phone case and ways that they can improve and just like how to protect it better i think that's what case to fight are known for are these just like incredible protective cases so the new iphone 14 cases if you guys are in the market if you have got an iphone 14 let me know okay i have got the one before it but, I mean, let me know if the iPhone 14 is, like, impeccable and do I need it? Let me know. If you guys have upgraded and got yourselves the iPhone 14 and you're in the case and in the market for one, Case Fi is always, always the place to go. And they've improved their drop height protection. They have this new eco shock technology on their cases and they're now up to 11.5 foot drop protection. They have been military standard drop tested 130 times to ensure that that eco shock is like really durable and actually does work and protect your phone. And they've been really working on the design of it so they're going to have optimum protection while still kind of keeping their sleekness style and there's thousands of prints that you guys can get so you can totally customise it to suit you or personalise it. You guys know I love, I've actually got like just literally a plain and simple one on my phone right now but I love the personalised ones. You can change where the font goes on it, the text, the colour, all of that good stuff still. And I always love to mention how Case Defy are working on being more sustainable and the cases are made up of 65% recycled and plant-based materials as well. And they're now built with a strong like magnet to support the MagSafe products and wireless charging and all of that good stuff. So yeah, if you're in the market for a new phone case, whatever model and make that you have, but more importantly, if you have upgraded your phone to the new iPhone 14 and you're in the market for a new case, they have improved all of their cases for the spec and it's definitely worth checking out and saving yourself some money as well using the link in my description. It's going to take you to my top picks as well as you can just browse website yourself and the discount will automatically be applied so make sure you check that out mine's just giving plain and simple and that to be fair that's kind of what i'm giving at the moment you know <laughs> uh, soon i'm gonna be in my you know glam reinvented era so i'll definitely be picking up a new case but yeah make sure you go and check that out but let's get this show on the road and pick up my uh guest of the day also who likes my t-shirt it's totally not true i am actually really i am intelligent uh, so it's just ironic really <laughs> the irony <gasps> she's arrived guest of the hour we both said we weren't gonna wear makeup and now i'm really laughing hey. hi uh, welcome hello hello hi can we get comfy oh my god dude i was just thinking we have not 
filmed like a drive with me together. I've done one with Literally. Hannah before. I feel like you have, um, it's like, what's it called? Car carpool? No, I've just said this. I've, really? Like, I said like, I always just like pick people up and go for a drive that maybe I need to start something that's cool. Like, like a series, because you've done it with Jack as well, haven't you? Yeah, and I literally filmed sort of this type of video with Lara as well. And now it's me. And now it's you. Now By it's the your way, turn. Before I start, I have this tooth gem. I probably look ridiculous. I can't get it off. Right. I've had it on for two days and I'm concerned. Okay. I've literally been spending the past hour trying to get this tooth gem off my tooth and I think I've nearly pulled my veneer off, so. How did you get it on? By the way, I'm going to the one that's um, not in Trafford, but. Where are we going? The one that's like newish in, um, it's like by Asda. Oh no, but the other one's also by Asda. It's like, it's, it's kind of new. Near the Etihad? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even know there was one there. This is what I mean, without a car, I've not been able to do any of this. I have missed going through a Starbucks drive I was gonna drive say, through. like you, I think of, I like you, I miss your drive with me. So like yours I were know. always really chill and fun. So this is, I feel like been like overdue. Yeah. Do you this... have one of these things in your car? Like a stand. And it wasn't one of those ones. It was one that like went oh. on there and it was like taller, but it met, it fucked up my radio. So oh. yeah, we won't be doing that again. Oh my but God, lovely. I'm hopefully gonna get a new car. Although I have decided, am I a passenger princess? Because I feel like I should be now. I always used to be a passenger princess, and now I just like you know, like I'm scared of dying. Yeah. Like my just. Like whenever I'm a passenger, <laughs> I like Lara drove me somewhere the other day, and I j I must just I must be so annoying. I'm like, ah! like every no, two seconds. Are. Do you remember when I drove us down to London when we was getting um, a flight from London to, to Greece? Oh yeah. Yeah, and all the good here in the back of the car was where? <laughs> like, no, because like, well that's why I definitely can't be in the front. It's best that I'm just in the back and yeah. like you just have the Asleep. music on, can't hear me because <laughs> otherwise I'm just stressing everyone out. Although I did feel like when I was driving, cause I'm quite, like I'm not the best driver, I'm not gonna lie. It took me like three times to pass my test. I'm really not that good. <laughs> I passed on my fourth. So like, I don't You're know why I think I'm be any, any better. I think it's just having an automatic car's made this. Yeah. It ma makes it easier. But with you and Han in the car, I literally was like driving as if I had a newborn in the car. I was like, all right, this needs to be like, but I, Perfect, I need to protect my friends. I think that's what, like, whenever I've got someone in the car as well, I'm very much like, why am I not, like, relaxed? Yeah. Because like, when it's just me... Anyways, when <laughs> it's just me... What? No, I'm just wondering what you got from Zara. Oh, well, it's being returned. Um. I ordered... Oh, my God. So I ordered a skirt in my size. Well, what is normally my size in I Zara. Uh, is Imagine, it, got, like, an... Like, it, it's, it's huge! huge. Mine is. How is it the size of the screen right now? No, I was like, it's um, so big. I've got, I've literally got that exact skirt. But do you not find it really short as well? Yeah. Like my whole arse is out oh, and it's falling down, so I may as well be naked. No, literally, like, I. What size did you get? You must have got like an extra. XL. <laughs> XL. Extra, like, extra small. Extra small. Well, I yeah. ended up with a medium. I'm like, all right, thanks, Zara. Yeah. Never normally a medium, but I'll take it. Why did you, I feel like Zara's sizing is so odd well i ended up buying that in an xl l and a medium and like i just need to take them back because the, the medium fit okay. yeah the medium that's what i'm saying like it's such a cute skirt though i, I love little mini skirts at the minute oh my god don't because that's one of the things we're going to be talking about and that i need to ask you it's just about like style i'm excited to like stuff. talk about specific stuff well like, i feel I, like there's going to be stuff that you're not going to know about but because i don't have a life and you do like <laughs> I, I like i do hardly you know but like in terms of like stuff that i just learn about from tiktok and you'll probably be like what and i'll be like well no do you know what i do spend I'd probably say like a concerning amount of time on TikTok at the minute. Like, to be fair, you do know more things than I think you do in terms of like I'll just bring something up and you'll be like, oh yeah, yeah. But I'll think I'm the only like weirdo that. It's knows. like Anna Paul. I feel like you didn't think I'd know who that was, and I was like, oh my god, I love her. Have you seen her new car? With everyone well, riding on, on it. it. See, I do know something. Yeah. <laughs> no, but yeah. Oh, sorry, who's got the money to just buy a G wagon? To just for people to write on. Wait, so does her money come from OnlyFans over TikTok? I feel like it, yeah. Wow. It must do. I'm losing out on a big bag there then. Yeah. Damn. But obviously, like, her views... Oh, can my phone stop? Her views on TikTok, like, she probably gets some, but... 
Yeah. You, you get more money from like TikTok shop than like views on TikTok. You know, what's you, t- is that where you can like you... link oh, products okay. and stuff? To be fair, I've only ever bought one thing from TikTok shop. I don't bought anything. Like, I need to buy something. It's so good. It literally just like checks you out really, really quickly because TikTok has your information. Yeah. Because it's so quick. All you do is double click the Apple Pay and you're done. Like it's. That's why everyone Concerning. says it's dead. Yeah. Yeah. But I bought the Samyang noodles, the carbonara ones. I'm so excited to try them. Sorry. That is just not what I thought you were going to say. <laughs> I don't know what I thought you were going to say. Like makeup. Or yeah. Like... Or just like this really cool like top that you found. Like whatever. Noodles. To be fair, Mitchell's got like such good deals on there. Mm. Um, but we'll talk about all that kind of stuff in a minute. Anyway, we're just going to go to the Starbucks, get the coffee mm. and then I'll go through these. I'm excited because you don't actually know what we're, we're going to be talking about. Oh my God. I feel quite in an opinionated mood today. Same. Do you know what I mean? Like I really want to tell people Do you know what, what I think. Shirt? This is for brains. <gasps> Love that. But it's ironic because Mood. I was saying like I am smart, but like I have got tits. So they were yeah. just, you know, it's just. Technically you've got three brains. Thank you. Oh my god, why did I think it was going to be great? Thank you. I'm thinking of matcha. Ah. Perfect. Thank you so much. Oh no, this is my favorite drink from Starbucks. It reminds me of Costa. Tell if he was cute or not. Right, I'm just going to pull up and like park. Okay, the drinks are in. And I'm literally parked in the exact same place that I was with Lara. Yummy. This is hot though. It's good light in here as well. The reset that I was like, I'm yeah. staying here because the light's good. Okay, I wrote mm. them down. A lot of people said the same thing, and I wonder if you can, like, guess what they're going to be. Okay. They're basically just things that are, like, relevant to now that people are talking about. Although there's one on here that I didn't know, but apparently it's, like, a thing on TikTok. Anyways, so... Okay. What are your thoughts on the people queuing for hours to see the Queen, like, in her in-state or whatever it was? Did you see that? But she's dead. No, but... Have you ever... Oh my god, see, this is when I realised that like I just watched too much TV. Like right. basically pub the public were given like this is what happens when the Queen dies is that her like coffin lies in where does it lie? Like publicly? Yeah. With her inside it. Yeah. Right. Probably not. But right. like it's there. I think was it? No, because it got moved. Oh no, so it was in we- it was in Westminster Abbey. Did you not see like people could queue up to just go and like bow and whatever and oh. then and people were queuing for like t- 20 hours. Oh my god, I didn't realize that was it, the extent of right, it. Right, so that's the thing like The only thing I've seen is um I was scrolling through TikTok and it was, it was this man and someone said whose dad is this. And he went up, he bowed and then went as if he was like waving at her and I was like, that's that, so that's cute. That's what we were doing. It was like so um, like, I don't know, anyone that's had any sort of like, in, well, um, obviously anyone could go. Did you not see um, the man that like, because basically her, she was it? There was like something on top of her coffin and like, obviously there's going to be one fucking hooligan that tries oh to like God. do that. But like, you yeah, know, people were queuing for like, like, even, like, David Beckham was in the queue. Like, really? queue, like people were queuing and, like, staying up oh. overnight to queue up to bow. Oh, do you know what I did see? Holly and Phil from this morning skipped the, the queue. queue. That was another thing. Like, as under this umbrella, like, people were like, what the oh. fuck? Because it, it was... Because, yeah, like I said, even David Beckham, like, queued up with everyone. He queued for, like, 15 hours or, like, something wow. like that. Wow. Okay. Um... What's your views on it? Personally. What's your view not, on the royal family in general? Ro- mm, <laughs> I feel like my view's controversial. Like, I I don't think I'm as clued up as I should be to answer the question because I personally don't actually know what they do. I know they bring in tourism, which... I feel like the, it, that's, like, the palace that really brings in, like, tourism yeah. and stuff and, like, their estates. But apart from that, I'm not too sure what they do. But I think, like, that's completely fair because I think it is more of an older generation thing because cause she's she died at fucking 96. Like, I don't know why everyone's so shocked. Everyone was like, oh, my God, I, I can't shocked believe that- it. What? What? I, I, she's just one of those people that you just, like, you just probably just never think she's going to die, do you mm. know what I mean? But, like... I think for us, unless... Because I've got some friends that are very 
they like love the royal family but because they've done their own research and like whatever yeah. but like in our lifetime so let's say like the past 20 years technically but then we're not really coherent for like maybe yeah. i don't know like nine years of that so let's say like for the past 15 years she's actually not done a lot because a yeah. lot would have been back in the day when we weren't even born so when people are like she's done so much i'll just say like oh yeah sure but i actually yeah i don't really know yeah no neither they're talking about and i'm team diana always love queen that's my queen queen diana my queen died well they do say she was the people she was the people's princess but like yeah i'm only really starting to like this last week because everyone's been talking about it Mm. been sort of asking more questions and like have you ever watched the crown on netflix i started to watch it like two like last year but because i didn't really know who these people were i lost interest i was like i'd like this is way too much i don't know what's going on yeah but now because she's just died and all of these people are like sort of being spoken about again yeah now i know like did you know that princess diana was already like in not, the royal not like royal but she was a lady she's lady spencer yeah I see had, i didn't know that i, yeah, I didn't I know who she was like yeah mm, i feel like okay so this is my thoughts on people getting upset about the royal family knowing the royal family whatever so me and manny were kind of like we don't really know why people are so bothered by it but then I remembered when Virgil died. We don't know Virgil personally, but it really hit me, like... Because I knew... Like, me and Manny watch Virgil interviews all the time. We watched all of his shows. We basically know his life. Like, we've watched him develop. We was... Like, Manny cried when Virgil died. Yeah, I th- yeah it's so, one of those things where... Yeah, I get it. And when you put it into perspective, like, when you think about people in the older generation that have basically lived alongside the Queen... And watched everything she's done i get it Mm. but i don't like it when people force certain things like because to be honest to be completely honest not that i i like care that she's died i care if anyone dies yeah it's not nice i care that she dies but like i my life didn't stop that day because she oh, no. died. I respect yeah. the people that, like, care about it and stuff. And it is like, wow, like, she's all that we've ever known. Oh, wow, things are going to change now because, you know, she was the last queen. It's all kings from here on out. Like, you know, the whole national anthem change. Like, things are changed and I'm very much like... Oh, and I found this whole thing really... Do you know what? Not necessarily sad. I've just found this whole last week very interesting. Like, I've really yeah. learned a lot over this last week and that is a result of her, like, dying. Do you know but I, think- I would not. I wouldn't have queued no. for hours just to like I wouldn't have queued for five minutes I'll be honest I understand um like I again I, I feel like I, you I don't know enough about it to even speak on it but I can understand why certain con- if you're from a country that's is it in the commonwealth or like something mm. she kind of like approved I'm gonna go ahead and say like certain bad things that happened to them so uh, like yeah, i understand yeah, yeah. why a lot of people are like yeah uh, like fuck the queen type thing but like yeah not yeah, but like not with respect that's what some people are sort of like saying did you watch the funeral yeah 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 like i'm i was interested to watch it and the whole yeah. procedure was really just like wow like well didn't five billion people watch, watch it i mean she is she is the queen like do you know what I mean? Like, it yeah. is a big deal. Like, as much as we're like, it's just another person that died. I mean, it is like she was the queen. And like, I know she did a lot, but it is important to acknowledge that some of it wasn't great. Like, I'm assuming, yeah. like, which is why people are allowed. To... I just think, you know what? Feel whatever you want to feel. I think when it comes to these things, it's actually best, like, not to, <laughs> not to, say, <laughs> not to say, but this whole thing was just like, I'm sure people will agree with us. Some people will disagree. And it's like, that's OK. I think the older you get, it's, it's, it's important you must acknowledge that people will have different opinions and yeah. that's okay. Yeah. I feel like some people really need to, like, digest that because... Yeah, please. You, please. Just, get, you just get yourself worked please. up that people don't see the same views as you and it's like, yeah, you know. I'm just not like that. I like that everyone has a different opinion. Like, I, I don't ever feel the need for anyone to agree with what I'm saying because sometimes I am actually wrong. And, like, yeah, I, I don't know. I wish, like, I, I could so sit here and be like, that's totally true. But, like, there are some things where, like, I'm just, like, I'm correct. Like, no, if it's something about, like, you're actually morally in the wrong. Oh, like, right, yeah, yeah, Racism, yeah. then obviously 
you agree with me or we're not friends, friends anymore. Yeah. But, but like with topics like, I don't know, do you like this bag? And someone's like, that is the most disgusting bag I've ever seen and I love it. I'm not going to be like, uh, no. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, totally. Right, next one. The controversy about Chloe Bailey being the new Ariel. Have you seen that? <gasps> what? I'm sorry. Right. I watched the clip of her singing and I like shed a tear because she I was like, is, that was... Oh my God, I've got goosebumps. <laughs> she is beautiful in as ariel like she's beautiful anyway but wow as ariel she she even has like the face no of, like, i was gonna mermaid. say you know we say that we think that mainly like girls but like that have that like reptile looking yeah. face are like the most tell me if you like understand what i was saying it's like that whole thing about you either look like a rat or a frog like she is a frog she's a frog but like in the most like avatar stunning way and obviously if you've watched avatar you know that they're these creatures that are like i think they are just meant to be like beautiful, beautiful aliens, aliens. <laughs> but like we see that in like people and it's normally people that have a very like lifted completely like symmetrical yeah face which scientifically is what determines your beauty if you've got like the most symmetrical face mm. people say that like that's what makes you stunning and yeah. she just looks insane no it, it was the singing real. it brought me yeah. like the nostalgia and all the clips of all of the like young black kids that were watching it being oh. like oh she looks like me. and sorry the tiktoks it's i think it's people are talking about the tiktoks that are like um scientifically she obviously like couldn't be black and it's like you're talking what? about an imaginary creature that's for one a crap a talking crab and her arch enemy is a half lady half octopus well yeah who, are they gonna find someone with purple skin no to do ursula no like, it's not that what deep. is wrong with people and those these kind of programs are meant for well they're not just meant for kids any yeah. age can enjoy them kids wouldn't know like they just think oh she doesn't look like the cartoon but like that would be where the thought process ends they don't yeah. know enough to be like oh my god I this is so not correct i like, just don't know why it matters like I, like why why does it matter it's the same story it's disney doing it get over it this is really random but isn't betty isn't the original isn't betty boop based off of a black lady but her cartoon image is really? white yeah like, why are the people not completely outraged okay. about that? What, what's that TikTok? It's okay when I do it. <laughs> it's, oh, yeah. What is that? When they're, like, running? <laughs> yeah! It's, oh, my God, wait. What is that? It's, it's, it's okay. It's okay. It's a, it's a problem when they do it. Wait. <laughs> you know what we're talking about. Our last about. two brain cells. But, but, but that's what, that's what's so, like, infuriating. Yeah. Like, why is it always... Just enjoy the film. Like, it's just meant to be about her incredible voice and all of the songs in it i, I was such an ariel that, that was my disney princess growing up was ariel so like yeah. i'm so excited it's definitely top three for me i used to have a cd of the soundtrack that i'd listen to <gasps> on my dad's like sony walkman like yeah, you know those the players little clicky ones. Yeah, yeah that you put the cd in oh okay well, yeah if you were one of them people i'm sorry we cannot be friends if, you, if that's even a problem no then you've obviously not got like actual problems. Yeah. That yeah. like actually matter. Mood. Mood. Literally. Okay, I feel like you may not know about this one. Okay. Do you know about the drama surrounding the film Don't Worry Darling? No. The one with Harry Styles in it? No. Oh, with Chris Pine. Yeah, and like basically what? apparently the film itself is actually shit. But oh. it's got so much publicity just from all of the tea around the film. Maybe that's why they needed the publicity, because the film's bad. I'm still going to go to the cinema and watch it. Yeah. Probably. I feel like it's got such a good cast that I would watch it anyway just before the cast. Well, I feel really crap because I didn't know who Florence... Pew. Pew, plow, pew. Pew? Plow. Mm. Pew. I only saw... I didn't know who's... It's not Florence Pooh, like... Pooh. I thought it was Pew. <coughs> Pew! Yeah. Pew! Oh, Pew. yeah, maybe. Florence Pew. Pew sorry. <laughs> no. Florence No, Florence I didn't Pew. know who it was. But apparently, apparently she's, she's incredible. I don't know. Oh. But apparently she's getting paid less than Harry Styles, even though she's, like, a fully, like, established, really great actress. Oh. But, like, I think the tea was 
that do you know that Harry Styles is dating Olivia Wilde, who's the director of this film? Oh. But she had a relationship. No, she was like married with her husband. And I think she like left him to be with Harry. Was this before or after the the they started filming? I think was like, it like an on set love? I don't know. I don't know the like tea. A, who was it, Brad and Angelina? Oh, uh, iconic, but that was iconic. But no, 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 no. Like well, I don't I don't know. <gasps> but then I think before it was going to be Harry Styles, it was meant to be Shia LaBeouf. Like he was meant to be oh, playing who okay. Harry Styles is playing. Oh, I love him. But he, Oh, what? <laughs> so, but then Florence didn't want to work with him because he's been he's done for like sexual assault allegations. Really? <laughs> yeah, against I don't know who his ex is. Oh my god! The only reason I love him because I love holes. Like that reminds me of high school. Oh no! Yeah, like no, like um, I like Transformers. But oh my god! Don't love. Did you ever watch Even Stevens? Yeah, what, he, even Stevens. With beans. Yeah, <laughs> I feel yeah. like I'm beans. Yeah, like that's the only reason I sort of yeah. know him. Like as he's got older, but but as these allegations come out, he's not really been working. So oh, like okay. I like his old stuff for yeah. sure. But um, you know, and then Florence said she wasn't gonna, which is fair enough. And I think Shia then quit because like the rehearsal times just like there wasn't gonna be enough to like do it. But then Olivia Wilde went in an interview and said that she fired him like for Flo's sake because she was saying that she didn't want to work alongside him then he came out with all the receipts and like a video got leaked that Olivia Wilde like sent him being like oh like I'm sure we can persuade Miss Flo to like get on board like it was all of this tea and then saying that she was not going to do any like press interviews like for this movie which then implied that there is like an issue right with I think her issue is now like with Olivia there's way too oh like there's so God. much drama surrounding this film it was about harry spitting on chris but do you, you think he did that no i think he did like i don't it's think the so. mannerisms afterwards where he's just like this and chris is like looking down at his leg and it's just like something happened but i don't know but i don't think it was a whip. it was but it was like a p- i don't know do you reckon I think it was. Because I was even, I was so invested that I was going through the, the Twitter threads where people had like slowed it down to see if anything fell from his mouth. But and... he lo- he like looks down and then like stops clapping and yeah. Harry's face is very just like smug but then why would you be such an idiot to do that in front of all of those people that are obviously filming you and like... Yeah. I don't know. I'm still going to watch the I film. I wonder whether uh, they will ever address it. Although, didn't he... In the New York concert, say something like, "Yeah, yeah, I've just yeah. flown back from like spitting, spitting on Chris. Chris Pine." So would would he do that if he actually did? I don't know because his like as I'm speaking as if I even know him, but like his humor, humor mm. is very much like I feel like he would just come out and say that, and every and he would just rely on the fact that like everyone would think that like, oh he's obviously not being serious, and he'd fully be like, "I am." I, I just said it. Like yeah. I don't know. I'm still going to watch the film. The storyline is like... It's like Florence is the main character, I think. And she... What even is this movie about? She... They all get like told about this place and then they go to this place and they've all just been like completely brainwashed and she's the only one that's sort of like switched on and like oh. tries to like w- tell everyone about like what they're doing to Almost them. Almost like breaking out of the Matrix but not the Matrix. I feel like maybe. So I feel like hmm. that's a storyline that's definitely been and done which is yeah, maybe why like... Yeah, predictable. Yeah. Okay, when's that out? 23rd, what's the date? 20th. 20th, yeah. End oh. of this week. Lots of things are coming out this week. What that thing is? I sent you this morning is... Oh, yeah, that looks scary. <coughs> oh, my God. Sorry, I can't breathe. Wait, I, I didn't even hear about that either, so... Well, I need to, I need to literally saw it the other day, and then it was, like, on Netflix next week, and I was like, right. fab. Another gory thing to, like, freak myself out about, but oh, I really great. enjoy. Another one. And this is what I didn't know was a thing. I had a few people say this about, the like, all the TikToks that are being made about the Kardashians becoming irrelevant. What? I was thinking... Are they? Are they? All I've been seeing is that everyone's getting their butt implants removed and, like, everyone's going into their, like, skinny era. Well, and it's like... making me think that they, they obviously... I'm thinking that their butts were, like, 
created by filler. filler. Yeah. Because that's the only thing that you can get, like, Because it's not as if it's gone from big to nothing. It's just, like, gradually deflating. Yeah. So unless they're having, like, injections to have it dissolved. dissolved. And they obviously have to work out to keep the skin, like, to, I don't really know. Chloe's yeah. is the biggest difference, I think. Because remember yeah. there's that picture of her pushing this, like, pram and her arse is was, huge. Yeah. And now no, it's not. No, but you not remember Kim's at one point? Kim's looked... Massive. ridiculous well i saw a conspiracy theory that someone thinks that kim's going to run for president and that's why she's changing her image up and like looking a bit more like serious i've seen this i think because she's going more into the business world and corporate world which i don't agree with she's suddenly got more of a white image of a, like the image of a white woman and is now trying to profit off being or looking white yeah. i did see that and i was like yeah no i've seen that and also like yeah. Kylie Kylie's getting Kylie's getting a lot of stick because she's like filming in her bathroom and like oh, filming yeah, in the car that. and everyone's What's like that about? I don't know. Well, it's because she's doing these get ready with me's and like Oh I don't I don't really know how to feel because I see different takes on it and that is the problem yeah. with TikTok because I watch one take and I'm like, oh my god, I so agree with that person, yeah. like what they said, and then I watch another take and I'm like Oh, well, actually, that makes sense as well. Yeah. And that's how just people jump on these bandwagons. Although, out of all of the Kardashians, I feel like Kylie is my favourite because even though we are not even slightly relatable, like, I'm not... Like, Kylie is not relatable to me because she's a billionaire. Like, we don't... There's no relatability there. But to me, she still feels relatable. Why do I feel like if we met her, like, she'd think we were really funny? Like, yeah, I always I think, think that about some people. I'm like, yeah. if we met, I think we... I think that I think that about... Don't ask me why. Like, I'm just in my fantasy world. I think Drake would find me hilarious. Like, I can't really? explain it. Like, I think he'd just think I was nuts and be like, yeah. she's funny. And I'd be like, thanks. To be fair, my toxic trait is I feel like I would meet Kanye West and he'd fall in love with me. No, but I really see that for you. <laughs> I literally see that for you as well. And that's fine. Oh, like, let's live that. in these bubbles of that, like, yeah. one day, like, we'll just meet Maybe these people. Maybe that'll just be the ego that we need for ourselves to, like, I don't know. Yeah, I just know, like, Drake would think I was hilarious. I think Jack Harlow would find me funny, too. And I also mm. think that about H. I'm like, I think if I met H, he'd think I was really funny. Yeah. Have you met H? Yeah. Do you think he'd find me funny? Yeah. Okay. That's what I needed to know. <laughs> that's what I needed to know. Okay, oh, my God. Oh, I really want to know your thoughts on this. Okay. Miss Fashionista. Okay. Loafers, yes or no? No. Really? No, never. In a million years. No. On you? Or on just me. like in general? Oh, I feel like if it's if it works with your aesthetic, for example, Bella Hadid, she can do no wrong in my eyes. She's worn loafers with like high knee socks. Love that for her. It just could never be me. For example, blazers. You will never see me in a blazer. I think Never. but you've got like this hairband on right now. Like I could see you in a very like Hailey Bieber-esque type outfit and it would look good. Is, I feel like the clean girl aesthetic, I can appreciate it. I like the makeup, I like the hair, but the fashion is not me. Like the whole like new balance with a blazer, the leggings and a it's just I like it on other people, don't get me wrong. Like I, I can appreciate when Hailey Bieber wears a really cute oversized blazer and like I like it but for me, no. Like I do not own one bra blazer blazer. And that's where we completely differ. Like how many blazers do I have? <laughs> many. Yeah but I like it when you wear a blazer because no, you really suit them but I feel like I I would look like I'm trying to go with a certain aesthetic and that's what I don't like because I like to have my own style. I don't want to look like I'm trying to be a clean girl or trying to do this. I just like to dress like me. Does that make sense? What is your aesthetic? I don't have what My aesthetic is Madison Sarah. Like, if I like it, then I'll wear it. It's not, I want to look more rock or I want to I look more... I don't know. See, this is what I'm trying to, like, establish. I think when I change my hair next week, mm. I'm suddenly, like, you might see me next time and be like, oh, my God, like, what? No, but I feel like... I said this to Mitchell, actually. I was like, I feel like you're really coming into your own look, not even just with clothes, but, like, with your makeup, with the way you have styled your apartment. Like, I just feel like you're really coming into your own. That's but, what I'm trying to do. I yeah. think it always happens to me, like, a few weeks before I turn a certain age, I'm like, mm. something needs to change, something needs to happen. Like, yeah. I need to do something yeah. but i don't know about loafers i think if you've got like long 
Would you wear loafers? I don't know. I see certain outfits and I'm like, that's nice. Like, yeah, like, like loafers th aren't an easy shoe to style. No, and like, but for example, like if I go on, who, like when I picture what people style loafers with, I think mini skirts, socks, yeah. like whatever. Almost but like, then... I feel like the the whole like school teacher assistant fashion is coming into style. No, I think that's gonna be my. So I really like like. Um, like a fitted shirt and like a little skirt and I think that is this yeah. whole like work I feel like chic. you've always liked that kind of thing yeah and I think now it's coming a thing I'm like well maybe I'll but for example that's why I feel like that would fit your personal style because even before that was a trend you already liked that yeah but for me if I like something I'll wear it I don't have this like specific yeah, because I'm in two minds. Like, I, I love that, like, work chic aesthetic. But then mm. when I go out, like, I want to wear, like, sexy, sexy yeah. stuff. So I need to find this middle. But then, for example, like, I like that outfit. And it's like... Oh, do you see what I she mean? She killed... She killed Sorry, just saying, trip. you know when you think of how to style loafers and you think maybe, like, big blazer, socks, like, really kind of school vibes. Oh. But then... You know, chintzy will work with like a double denim, and that, and I, I was like, like, oh, that's a different way, a take of wearing it. Let me see the loafers. See, they're not the shoes I would have paired with that. I would have done like a pointed boot or heel with that. Oh, you do like a pointed boot? Yeah, love pointed boots. But you're quite the boot, like any time of day, like you're wearing a bit. You could yeah, wear a boot. even in summer, I like boots. I just really needed to know that. I needed yeah. to hear your thoughts on the loafers. Yeah, but then the not final fun. one. I'm gonna ask is although we've kind of sort of covered it just then, but I, as we go into autumn, yeah, what's your style gonna be? Okay, okay, my style is gonna be. I think the color that I definitely because I like neutrals in. I love wearing color in summer, in autumn and winter. I like black, white, charcoal, and brown. That's it. But I feel like I really like red at the minute. Red or like berry. Burgund. Yeah, berry. Berry's like, like the berry. Pink. That colour is do you know what? I asked Manny the other day. Have you seen that TikTok where it's like when your boyfriend says what colour you are, what flower you are? Yeah. Oh my god, yes, and people do it trying to like guess. Yeah. Yeah. Um that was the colour he said I was, like a berry. Berry. Like pinky red. And I was like, do you know what? Yeah. Like Oh no, aubergine's a bit dark. And like wine, said, like he, red wine. Yeah, he said my season was autumn and I was like, okay, I need to really show up then in autumn. Yeah, what's, so what's your style going to be? Okay, so I'm going to say I really like, I feel like I want to try a leg warmer. What are you going to show me? I, that's like, I don't know. I don't know whether I like it or not, but I really want to try like fuzzy socks, low fire yeah yeah sorry I've, I've placed a leg warm order on amazon um i like really dark denim at the minute like really oh, yeah, dark so that outfit blue. Was nice yeah yeah um i'm kind of coming back because i went i started steering away from wide leg jeans i really like them again so i feel like wide leg jeans the brands that i'm loving at the minute motel rocks is fire like i don't know who their creative director is at the minute I really they've like always Jaded. been like quite unique yeah but at the minute killing it like amazing um what else am i thinking hmm really loving lux to kill at the minute yeah me too do you know what i thought i would be over the cargo train by now but i'm still not over it like, i'm seeing different ways to style them yeah more and more these days and i'm like oh that's nice i like cargo skirts i like the long ones i'm excited to wear them in winter love headbands i feel like do you know what that's the one thing that i'm really struggling with at the minute hair i'm so bored of my hair that's why i'm just saying fuck it and yeah. i get i'm like just changing the whole thing because i thought you know what if i hate it i'll just start it's just hair like for me it's more the way i'm styling it like I've done every hairstyle you can think of. I've done a slick. I've done a high updo. I've done long. I've done wavy. I've done cut. Like, I've done everything. I'm so bored. I need a new style hairstyle to come out or for, like... Trend. 
everyone to just shave their head and just be over But you've it. not done, like, uh, Rachel from Friends, like, choppy, That's curtain like bang. Like, you've not done do. that moment. Yeah, I think I want to do that. I saw this TikTok, I'll show you when we finish filming, of how I want my hair. And it is beautiful. Hmm, what about you? <gasps> I can't make any decisions or, like, I've got no motivation to, like do anything until I've, my hair's different mm. because currently look i'm like bald I, all my extensions are out i've Isn't got this it the like best though having your extensions taken i mean out? i'm i'm like in yeah. my scalp like all day every day massages before you get your extensions back just to have like oh, a i've got one like, yeah i've got one yeah i need to do that but um yeah no i'm just waiting for my hair because then i'll just be able to like look at myself and be like right like yeah. What do I want to do? I have two of these in my Amazon basket currently. Yeah. I love headbands. They're just so easy to throw in. Then that's that's like the schooly like yeah. Uh, but that's what I mean. I've, I've you can take bits from what's trended at the minute and like put it into your own style. Because like I wouldn't probably like I hate ties. Like when people wear ties. Ties. I've seen. I a don't few get it. Ties. I don't. I get think that's that. a step too far. Yeah. Personally. But you can, like, incorporate different, like, trends into your own style. But what would you do if Manny was like, I've got this, I'm, like, I've got this outfit that I really want you to wear and, like, there was a pair of loafers on the floor, like, as part of this outfit. Like, he was like, I think they're sick. If Manny said, I love loafers, I think they're sick, like, would you be like... No. Because there's certain things that he's tried to put me in. Like, you should have seen this hat that he bought for me. It was literally, like... <sighs> it was a fluffy bucket hat that had ears. I'm not joking. I was like, money. Maybe you wanted you to go into an anime era <laughs> and like. I think that's what it was, and I was like, money. That is going back no. right now. I was like, fluffy bucket hat. I was like, okay. I was like, no, I like a fluffy bucket hat, but the ears yeah. really sort of. The down. ears, no. So it wasn't even like cat ears. It was. I'm gonna have to send you a picture. It was. <laughs> it was not good. Um, but yeah, I feel like he. He's so heavily involved in fashion and, like, watches fashion shows and he's probably seen every single London Fashion Week show that happened. Like, he watch it. He's so invested in it that he'll know what's trending before it's trending. So yeah. I trust him with certain stuff, but there's certain things that I just don't like and have never liked, and Loafers is one of them, unfortunately. You say that and then in two weeks you'll be like, hey, no. so I'm wearing loafers. Oh my God, you need to start doing more styling videos on TikTok. I, I think know. they would do really well. I know. Everyone tell her to start doing that because then I'll be like saving them and screenshotting them. Do you know like, what yes. though? My, my toxic trait is my best outfits come when I've got 10 minutes to get ready. And I'll just throw something on and go, shit, I've done well there. Uh, but if I think about it, my brain just goes blank. Like, Aw, yeah. I would like more fashion content from you on okay. TikTok. Say no more. Hopefully that is to come. All right, guys, that's 36 minutes of us waffling. Of us waffling. I couldn't even tell you what we've just spoken I've about. I've inhaled that. I'm, yeah. like, I'm having like a coffee sweat because that was hot and it's all gone. But yeah, I feel like we covered literally everything that we covered. That's all I could like see was all of those kind of like different things. Mm. But I feel like you guys always discuss it in the comment section. So... Yeah. Share your thoughts and opinions. If you're going to be wearing loafers or not, you know, really mm. need to know. Because I could be swayed, but it's a no from her. Dark denim from you. Dark denim from me. And but leg warmers, potentially. Potentially. How are you styling the leg warmers? That is a really good question that I yet... I'm going to show up. you a picture of what I saw. And I then... feel like we're coming into our ballerina era. That's the headband. Band, the leg, leg warmers. warmers. It's a ballerina. Oh my god, era. it is! And we need to then start doing bar classes. Look, I saw this girl and I was like, I really love like it. that. Yeah, with heels, 100%. But yeah, you're not I wearing a blazer. That. Sorry, that's the picture no, that I saw. Minus the blazer. Although, blazers are something I could be swayed on. I do was... a blazer. Mm, maybe. To be discussed. Yeah. Anyway. Thanks, guys. First video, I think, just us two. Yeah. We've had us two moments, but that's normally when we're blackout. Yeah, true. <laughs> and we're not doing that at the wheel. But really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Anything that we've spoken about, sound off, because I like hearing your guys' thoughts and opinions. I already just said, like, I'm so easily swayed. Like, mm -hmm. I'll probably reply to someone being like, I actually, yeah, you're right, I do hate loafers. <laughs> It'll be that sort of thing. Make sure you check out the case file link in the description. But, yeah, time to... um. 
I need the air conditioning on quite rapidly. <laughs> I'm like I sweating. need a wee. <laughs> yeah, I need a wee, and I've got about seven minutes to get to the toilet before there's some serious issues. Oh. But um, love you guys. Bye. Bye.